Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from bu for you Gaming and today we are back in Gibbles at Cthulhu Adventure and uh, we kind of talked to some of all these people last time. I wonder why I didn't even notice. I think it's because I'm talking so I don't hear it that much but the guy with the bell in the back here, well, I did kind of notice him but you can't really talk to him but I didn't no notice the ringing. Man, but I do now. <laughs> that it would drive me crazy if I was one of these people uh, sitting around here and someone was like ringing the bell con constantly. Anyway, we kind of talked to most people over here. Let's see what we can do with the doomsayer. That guy's really passionate about Father Dagon. He's also got a problem with ending his sentences. And he's also blocking my way into the Finman house. I've got to find a way to cut his speech short. They gon' judge me! They gon' judge me! <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so you say, uh, Father Dagon and uh, Mother Hydra are uh, our... Uh, Biggest problem. They are our biggest problem, and it has never been uh, uh, clearer that uh, w w with their help uh, we shall never uh, achieve anything. We shall never achieve anything, or no any other uh, gods. Look around, brothers. Cast your your eyes on the person next to you. What do you see? Well, I see a group of... Uh... <laughs> well, we kind of want him to, to... Or people to disperse, right? So, <laughs> maybe do this. Losers! <laughs> a group of losers! Like I've never uh, seen before! And our uh, numbers are always rising. Make no mistake. Our uh, en en endeavor is a. Uh, uh... <laughs> wow. He is even worse than to at giving a speech than I am. <laughs> waste of time. Our endeavor is a waste of time. Fear us. Uh, world. Take a good, uh, hard look at us, for we shall bring uh, uh, nothing but, um, um, but, um... Mm. Lemon cake and cotton candy. Lemon cake and cotton candy to your doorstep. Uh, we are uh, uh, the, the next in, in, in line uh, uh, for... Um, all right, that got him a little riled up. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement. Brothers, wait, <laughs> it, it's a misunderstanding. I didn't mean... Amateur saboteur. Okay, well, cool. So does that mean we can get past him now? Nah, enough talk. It's time for action. Well, I got them, but we can't really get past them still. Uh, okay, well, maybe they're going to move later. Let's try and move over here a little bit. Studious cultists. These fellas here are really into their dubious book. I've had enough of dubious books for a lifetime. <laughs> Nebo Curious, Lord of the Subtle Arts, open the gate to the sphere of thy sphere! Nebo Curious, Master of the Chemical Science, open the gate to the sphere of thy workings! Hmm. Interesting. I'll just not bother them this time. Might be a good idea. Um, okay, let's start with you, crouching cultist. Oh, hey, it's a lady cultist. She's really into some kind of ritualish stuff. I have no idea what that means. Not sure I want to know. 
Yagamog. Yazagastenakia. Ashtakaralyosh. Couldn't have said it better myself. You have yourself a peaceful night now. <laughs> oh, he's so polite. It's a bearded cultist hanging out by that trash can. Looks to be the intellectual type. Likes books, it seems. Never a good boy, Randolph, is you? Is you? Uh, evening, brother. Hello. Anything else? Guess not. Later. <laughs> Trust can. Okay, so we can go this way. Uh, I don't like to remember what was that way. Did we finish looking at everything else here? I think we. Oh, but we can actually look at the trash can. It was a lonely trash can on a badly lit portion of road, and for some reason, it really caught my eye. <laughs> Why was this trash can so appealing to me? I don't know. Maybe there's something uh, interesting in it. I'm more interested in its present. Huh. I guess stinking horribly yourself negates the downsides of rummaging through trash. So here I go. Oh, got a really rotten egg. Oh, yeah. Squishy goodness. Oh, come on. <laughs> but we already have and, one of those, uh, do we? A boot. Okay. Uh, okay. Really going all in with the treasure hunting here. Didn't we already have one? Yeah, okay. So now we have a rotten egg and a really rotten egg. And then we have a boot. I've picked up this ragged old boot for uh, some reason. Yeah, we do some strange things in a this. really disgustingly rotten egg. <laughs> okay, I managed to get the crowd a little angry at the doomsayer. Now to lead by example. I know... Oh, yeah. Aha, if we throw eggs at him, he's gonna leave. I know it's a little weird to be carrying rotten eggs around, but they might prove useful in case someone's in need of a humiliating and public disapproval. They also nicely complement my smell. Oh. Okay, what if we start with this one? We might have to use this one to really scare him away, but okay, let's try with this one. They're a bit more excited now. <laughs> Okay, let's take this one. They're even more mad. We're getting there. Uh, okay, can we throw the boot at him too? I should throw something else at this guy. Um, okay, so I guess we have to find something more. Well, let's try and go this way. We also have this corner over here we have to explore, but let's go around this way first. Oh! Hello. Oh, I don't think we could actually go this way around the last time, could we? I think it was blocked to us, so that's interesting, or the last time we were in this place. So, let's see. Uh, Brother Aelin, Brother Matthew, Pesh or something, Brother David, and Brother Jen. Okay. That's Brother Jen. He joined our elite gatekeeping squad recently. Just like these other brothers, he's taken a vow of silence. But as you can see, he's still rocking out. Internally, as it were. <laughs> oh, this guy reminds me of um, Danny DeVito. Is that his name? Yeah, that must just be his name. Man, I haven't seen a movie with him in a long Look, time. This guy is talked that before joining the ranks and ascending to elite status, he was one of them rock guitarists. One gig, he's supposed to have downed a case of energy drinks all by himself. People are still afraid to talk about what happened next. What's for sure is that he found his true calling now. I tell you that. Father Dagon accepts all who turn their eye toward him. And that's that. Rock guitarist or not. <laughs> Rocking for Dagon, as it were. Let's not and say we did. Mm. Okay. Brother Jan's part of my elite squad that's taken a vow of All silence. right. <laughs> That's Brother David, a member of my elite squad of gatekeepers. Not much is known about him. This guy truly is a mystery. Ah, uh, well, he likes some kind of royal kitty. Don't let the angelic smile and the curls fool you. Brother David is as unpredictable as he is innocent looking. Tell you the truth, I'm a little jumpy around him myself, you know? 
<laughs> that cat on his robe, though. Ugh, just look at that cat. Just look at it. Well, we probably can't talk to him either. I'm talking serious. Just look at that cat. That cat is king. <laughs> Let's not and say we did. No, and of course we can't talk to him either, no right? Point in talking to nope. brother David. He took a vow of silence when he joined our elite ranks. Yeah, so they all did. Okay. That's brother Matthew, one of our elite gatekeepers. He joined after searching for a way to unlock the secrets of influence in the universe. Crazy stuff. Anyway, it led him to Fishmouth, and now, ha, well, he holds a secret of his own. This guy traveled all over the place, and the things he's seen. I'm telling you, he's been places. Look, between you and me, it was better off not even thinking about Brother Matthew. Hmm, well, the places he's seen, I would actually love to hear his stories then, but of course he can't tell us. Fra, I'm serious now. Just stay away from Brother Matthew. Trust me on this one, alright? And no. Say we did. Still can't do anything about that. Right that. There is Brother Aylin. He hails from Transylvania, Romania. Came a long way to join our elite forces, that's for sure. Well, we don't know too much about him. Guy kept to himself even before the vow of silence. But apparently he grew up on Mount Redizat, and he's an expert skier and mountain climber. Hmm. It's kind of weird talking about him like they ain't here, but <laughs> they can't speak themselves, so... Anyway, Brother Aylin's a valuable asset. Well, this guy kind of seems like a little, little bit of a, um, a chatty fellow, so I think he doesn't really mind. I wonder why he hasn't taken a wow of silence. To be honest, I'm kind of feeling very relaxed around this guy. Which is not what you want to be when you serve Dagon, eh? But... Gatekeeper's gonna gatekeep. We hit it to a job, and that's that. <laughs> okay, so. Seems to be the guy in charge of these guards. Yeah, I got that impression too. Oh, wise guy type. <laughs> he doesn't strike me as easy to deal with. Let's not and say we did. Evening, uh, brothers. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Just seeking passage into the uh, derelict industrial premises you're currently eclipsing. Don't come here wasting my time, you hear? I want to get inside of the abandoned factory behind you, brother. Just say so, huh? So are you, Malusco? <laughs> you're darn tootin' I'm Malusco. Oh yeah? Good! Chief Beovera specifically said, don't let Molusco in. <laughs> Forget about it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Me? Molusco? Huh. Mr. Confused Identity over here. <laughs> well, who are you then? Pescatory? Uh... Yep, in the flesh. Oh, good. You're finally here. I tell you, they say the worst that could have happened probably happened. I always knew we shouldn't trust that psycho with the meal. The meal? Are you serious? Oh, I see what's going on. You're questioning my clearance level, huh? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Don't worry. These guys are hardcore, but they took a vow of silence, so... I'm level 3 clearance. I pretty much know most of it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah? Tell me what the meal is then. May Father Dagon forgive our naivete. Is that how you pronounce that? How should I know? Pulling the wool over our eyes with talk of raising the meal, the ultimate feast for the dreamer. Damn butcher, cobbling flesh together and raising that thing in Kraken Bay, that half goofer. It ain't natural. We talking GMOs here or... Uh... I ain't in the mood for joking. He played us good, Pescatori. The dreamer yet hungers, brother. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Dagon. Mm-hmm. Not sure I follow. Stop acting the fool, Pescatori. We raised that thing for the dreamer to feast on, and now we just might have to face it. That flesh tinker and lunatic ran away with it. Oh wow, we know that for sure. Ain't that why you're here to find out for sure? 
the elders won't let us regulars in the factory. Personally, I think he's long gone, but go ahead and find out. Thanks. Wait, wait. I got specific instructions, though. You can go in, but only in the presence of Chief Piovra. Well, this couldn't be that easy, could it? So, where's Piovra? You're asking the wrong person, Fra. Ah, he's probably out boozing himself to death like he always do, right guys? Why do I keep talking to these mooks? Ah, drink like a fish, that Piovra. <sighs> Alright, I'll return with Piovra. See you guys. Salute! Hmm. Okay, well, I do know one person who drinks like a fish, or well, he doesn't anymore because we sorted that out, but that would be the guy over by the fishing boat, right? The elite guard posted outside the abandoned factory it leads me to f believe that the butcher might still be skulking inside. They won't let me in without a certain PR present. It's never easy. No, it's not. Oh, okay, is there anything else here we could check? No, okay, so let's go back. There was also that guy. No, that was. No. No, there was the guy in here in the Finman house, actually, who was also drinking. He's the one we brought some drinks for last time. The drink you got from the uh, drunk sailor, right? Um, hmm. Okay. Did I miss anything over here that we could have. Oh, where's the guy with the bell? The guy with the bell is gone. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna meet him somewhere else. Mm, I think we have checked everything here. Yes, so let's try and go this way around. We still need to find something else we can throw at this doomsayer guy. The Devil's Reef. Okay, well, the boat is gone. Our sailor mate is gone. Now there's all kinds of other stuff going on. Far casing tourist. Where's his... Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out where his head was. That's the head. He's kind of, I think, leaning over. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit hard to uh, to see, but okay. This weirdo is really interested in what's going on in the distance. Hmm, this might be the guy we need. I can't blame him. What the hell are those lunatics up to over there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Someone is... Oh, look at that. Walking around with torches. What happens when they meet each other? Oh, I don't know. Let's uh, check. You ain't ready for the water yet, Eustace. He used this. <laughs> okay, what happens when they meet? I don't know. Can we talk to you? Don't want nothing to do with them. Nope. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like they might meet. They just walk past each other. I have no idea what they're doing over there. The creepy horn-shaped reef is giving me the chills. And what are... What are those loons up to over there? Marching around like crazy people with their torches. Yeah, and in different colored clothes what and stuff. What are talking about? They are crazy people. <laughs> That's where it all began. That cursed place of all wickedness where the deep water starts. Gator Hill. She dropped down to a bottom no solid line can tick. Hmm. You go there? I ain't swimming there. Oh, that's so boring. Uh, okay, so floating cultist. He looks like he's guarding whatever insanity's going down in the water. Jeez. There's something going on in the water. Oh, distant splashing and craziness. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of fish or something swimming around. Huh, okay. Glad I'm not standing where he is. Yeah, I feel like this is such an odd place. Okay. I'm leaving him alone. Oh, okay. Let's see. Some kind of... I don't even know how to describe it. It's going on far in the water. Next to the reef. Hmm. Interesting. It's like a bubbly mess of swimming cultists, but it's hard to make out in the darkness. Oh, they're cultists. It almost looks more like... Fish or strange creatures or something. Oh, come on. Looks like schools of piranhas viciously squirming around. Except it's humans. 
<laughs> it's humans? Okay, if you tell us, say so. It is time! Brothers, it is time! Hmm. I'm not going anywhere near them. Oh, you're so boring. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> so, we do have... Oh no, I can't talk to you. Okay, is there anything else over here? Uh, devils... Oh... Well, we already checked that actually here, right? It's... Yeah, it's the same one. So, let's see. Uh, floating cultist, everything. Yep, let's go over here. And there's a dude. It's a non-festive looking dude. Just chilling over there. Oh, it might be this guy actually. No, that's Gustav. Oh, I wonder who the person is that we're supposed to pee over. That's what he that's was called, really right? Out of place here. Uh, yeah. I think so too. Man, I love Azanath. Man, I love her. Azanath. Where have, we, where have we heard that name before? Oh, he's the dude from the picture, or like he's the dude who fell for the was it the cab driver's wife or something? Was that the cab driver's wife that was called Asnath? Man, I love <laughs> Asnath. That was her, wasn't it? Man, I love her. Oh, it's so hard to remember when you play a game like this over a few weeks and all the details get a little blurry. Evening, sir. No offense, but you don't really look like you belong here. Oh, hey there, Padre. Yeah, no, I'm kind of visiting only. I thought they didn't let visitors in during the festival. Depends on who you're with, bro. Hmm. My wife's a regular. We're here on our honeymoon. Hmm. Interesting choice for a honeymoon. Yeah, well, sort of a goodbye to the old way of living on her part. As an F, I mean. Then we're totally changing our lives around. Oh? Is she around? She's in there, getting some fish and chips for us. Ugh, not partial to fish myself. Then what the heck are you here for, dude? <laughs> but yeah, I ain't crazy about him either. But hey, when in Fishmouth, you know, we're splashing out into like a debauchery sort of deal while we're here. And then, we're totally changing our lives around. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Uh, let's see. You know anything about a guy called the Butcher? Butcher? Unless he's in there preparing my fish and chips. Nah, dude. <laughs> oh, I love his uh, the, the accent. <laughs> it's funny. Um. Nice to see someone happily married. <laughs> Didn't get to experience that yourself, bro? Me? Happily? Huh. No, but uh, I'm glad it worked for you. Yeah, man, me too. You know what I love about Azanath? She's not one of those all up in your business wives, you know? She ain't about, I don't know, taking my life over. That's nice. Yeah, I love that she gives me my personal space. What else do you like about your wife? She just lets me be me. That's major. Anything, uh, anything else you like about your wife? She's not possessive. I'd hate that. What else do you like about your wife? She loves being herself and leaving my life and my time to myself. Tell me another thing you like about her. You know what? This conversation's getting a bit weird, and I'm <laughs> too hungry for it. Ah, right. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Hey, what's with the passed out guy with the eggs? I don't know, dude. It's sort of gross, but at the same time, he's kind of ruining my appetite. Which is cool, though, because I've been waiting on my fish and chips forever. Yeah, he's out cold. Guess his eggs are free for the taking. I guess so, man, if that's your kind of thing. It's cool, bro. Seriously, I'm not judging. Yeah, thanks. It means a lot. Yeah, I did notice there's a little egg lying right there we might be able to snatch up. Um, hmm. You mentioned changing your lives around. Yup, we're going vegan, baby. Oh, that's uh, nice, I guess. 
Concerned about uh, animal welfare and the environment, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, that too, kind of. It's just, it's the end thing to be, you know? <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. You never know. We might just go back to steaks afterwards. <laughs> I guess it's up to you, but uh, how does that make sense? Going from vegan to meat eater? You just go from being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat to being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat. Works both ways. The beauty of symmetry, bro. <laughs> Although... Yeah? Makes you think, you know. Sometimes I just sit and wonder, what gives us the right to kill and eat other beings just because they ain't human, you know? Because they can't reason like we do. So what? Doesn't take reasoning to know you don't feel like being gutted and eaten. No, I'm saying. That went dark all of a sudden. You telling me you never consider these things? An almost lifelong diet of steaks and cold hot dogs is a hard thing to leave behind, I guess, but, uh... Yeah, you know, you sort of make an interesting point there. Yeah, I think it's absolutely worth discussing these issues, you know? But discussing takes a lot of energy, and me myself, I'm famished. Now where's Azanath with those fish and chips, though? <laughs> okay, so he was thinking about that, and then yet he wants his fish. Hmm. Okay, well. All right, man. I'll, uh, I'll let you wait for your meal in peace. Enjoy the festival, Brosif. And don't <laughs> indulge too much, you hear? Ha ha ha. Oh man. Okay, well, that is it for today, guys. We're going to continue with this next time. So, thank you for watching. And as always, do take care and happy gaming.